This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 38. College Board has given us a table of data and a corresponding graph for the penicillin concentrations in the bl bloodstream in micrograms per milliliter 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes after a penicillin injection for a patient. And in this case they're asking penicillin concentration is modeled by P of T equals 200 B to the T over 5. If P approximates values to within 10 micrograms per milliliter, what's the value of B rounded to the nearest tenth? In this case, since they've told us we're rounded to the nearest tenth, I can use my calculator, this is a calculator question, and put into Y equals 200 times, for example, 0.9 to the power x over 5. If I try 0.9, the question is, in a table where I use table set to start at 0 and go up in increments of 5, because the table they gave me has increments of 5, am I within 10 micrograms? And this says at 5 minutes I have 180, which is not within 10. So 0.9 is not the correct answer. I know it's going to be a number less than 1, and 0.9 did not work, so let's try 0.8. I could have made a, an educated guess, but it's not always worth the time to make an educated guess if you have a calculator. And I know the correct answer will be 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, something like that. Using 0.8, at 5 minutes I get 160. Their table has 152, that's within 10. At 10 minutes I get 128, they have 118, I'm within 10. 15 minutes I get 102. 2.4, they have 93, I'm within 10, and 20 minutes, I have 81.9, they have 74. Again, I'm within 10. So that was just guess and check, and 0.8 worked on my second try. If that had not worked, I would have tried 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and so on. Alternatively, at t equals 5, p of 5, equals 200 times b to the 5 over 5, and the table says p of 5 is 152, dividing by 200, b equals 152 over 200, which is 0.76. As I found with guess and check, to the nearest tenth, B equals 0.8. So we found it analytically, we also found it by guess and check. Both are completely valid approaches. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.